Welcome friends to today's video where we're going to be discussing free online boot camps because I mean realistically who would want to pay to learn to code? There are so many amazing free resources on the internet and having gone through this journey myself using these free resources I can tell you that it's definitely achievable, totally possible. Some definitely stand out in certain areas with respect to others and so no time like the present to investigate each of them and find out what works best for you. So the four boot camps up for consideration today are the CS50X by Harvard, Free Code Camp, The Odin Project, and the Full Stack Open. And they are all individually amazing. And so if you like one and choose to solely pursue it, you know, all power to you and totally fair enough. Each individually will definitely get you where to go. However, there is a combination of the lot of them that might be more efficacious in helping you land your first developer job if you're under any kind of time constraint or just want to get into it a little bit sooner. And so what is that magic combination? Well, the first one to kind of look at is the CSX50, and that is a video course hosted by Harvard, and it is an excellent course. It's very well revered. And if your style is watching lectures, then I would definitely recommend just sticking to that path, stick to your guns and follow that through to the finish. However, because there's a physical time duration set by like literally having to watch a lecture, that means it's not necessarily the quickest. And so if you really want to accelerate the process using a combination of the other three, will actually get you where you need to go a little bit faster. The only caveat to that is that it takes a little bit more of like self-reading and self-education, but all the resources are really right at your fingertips. And so if you are looking to self-teach web development and full stack development to the point where you're employable, you know, the first thing we need to really look at is what do you need to know for an employer to look at you and say, yes, I want this person on my team. And in my personal opinion, there are a couple of key technologies and skills that you need to have to be employable. The first one is JavaScript. You need to be comfortable with JavaScript because it's the most common language in use at this current date. You would have to be working really hard to build a website and completely avoid JavaScript. And in my personal experience, and this is where I started my coding journey, I think there is no better place to learn it than free code camps, JavaScript algorithms and data structures course. It's a highly interactive certificate they progress you at a very natural pace. They provide you with the information that you need to know and give you questions and interactivity so that you can consolidate the skills that you learn. And so I would really recommend just completely diving into that burn through the end and you will land yourself a certificate that you can put on your LinkedIn page. That's just a nice little bonus goodie at the end of it. Now, once again, there's a million and one ways to learn JavaScript. This is just my recommendation based on my experience, but I had an extremely positive experience with it. It's all relevant, up-to-date content, teaches you all of the best practices, and has a lot of helpful resources associated with it throughout that process. So now that you've kind of got the foundations of JavaScript sorted, the next thing that is essentially just as essential is HTML, CSS, and Git. Now, Git is kind of a separate component to the three of them. However, there is one place where you can get the foundations of all of them, and that is in the Odin project, specifically in their foundations course. This is something that I would recommend reading through and just gaining some familiarity with, and then they give you some challenges at the end that you can test yourself and get some interactivity so that once again you can consolidate that knowledge with the additional benefit that you will walk away with some portfolio projects that you can actually go put in your own web portfolio and start showing to employers today. An excellent resource to complement this particular step is the internet is hard. It's just a website that you can visit and they just have additional explanations on all of the content that you'll be introduced to in that particular curriculum. It's really tried and trusted. And once again, I think there's no better way to complete that JavaScript, HTML and CSS circle than with the Odin project. So now for the third step, since you have familiarity with HTML and CSS and JavaScript, you could optionally choose to really consolidate these skills. And once again, for that, I'd recommend revisiting free CodeCamp as they have a new responsive web design certificate that you can complete and burn through. It's a great resource. It's not 100% necessary because you'll probably already have the foundational skills that you need to go out and build your own websites. And that is really the crux step that is critical for your employment is that you need to be able to display your capabilities as that gives you credibility and an employer is not going to hire you without some credibility that you can code the code that they need you to code. 
But if you really enjoy feeling like you've mastered content, then I would definitely recommend practicing your skills and applying your knowledge to the curriculum and the course that Free Code Camp have for their responsive web design. On to the fourth step. So now you're a master of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you've got some Git skills so you can commit to a repository in your GitHub and show that off to everyone who cares. I would now recommend learning React. It is by far the most popular JavaScript framework, internet framework out there. And you will once again really struggle to look through a job application and not see it as some form of requirement. Since it's the most popular, it's going to struggle to not lose that popularity. And so you'll really be wanting to add that to your tool belt as something that you can just bang out, say that you're a pro and demonstrate your skills to any potential employers. As for the best place to learn it, you can learn it at any of the curriculums I've recommended above. However, the one that I feel has the best curriculum is the full stack open. However, the caveat for just diving into the full stack open is that there is some prerequisite knowledge required, which just makes it essential that you go through those first steps of just becoming familiar with JavaScript and HTML and CSS before diving into this full stack open curriculum. But yeah, they have a really concise program that will walk you through everything you need to know to become a React Pro. And then at the end of it, once again, you'll walk away with some cool additional projects that you can put up on display in your portfolio. And once again, it's just going to add to your credibility and make you look even better as a prospective employee for a company. The full stack open is also excellent because not only will it make you a master of front end web technology and web design, it also introduces you to back end systems using Node.js, which I feel is just an excellent back end framework to become familiar with. It's based on JavaScript, so your JavaScript knowledge will come in handy. And they have a really good introduction that helps you build full stack applications with Node.js and React. And so you can really take that leap from being just a front end developer to a full stack developer. They even introduce you to some databases, some NoSQL databases. And so you could really just go out and bang out a full stack project and it just makes you look more and more employable by the minute. Now, the last step is relational databases. So these are different to NoSQL databases, which are non-relational databases, more like just a glorified JSON file. But a relational database is also very common in all sorts of work environments and with web technology. And so it's just another essential skill that is gonna look great on a CV. And the best place to gain those skills is back to Free Code Camp's recently released Relational Databases course. Once again, it's highly interactive. A lot of the content in some of the other boot camps can just be a little bit strenuous to read through. And it can be hard to find these interactive environments where you get to apply the knowledge that you're learning to really burn it into your memory and you know help you to understand the concepts. And so their relational certificate is just excellent because not only do you get a certificate that once again, you can further assign to your LinkedIn, it will just really round off your skill base and you should walk away with it with feeling pretty comfortable in most relational databases. You know, they obviously have nuanced details between them all. However, conceptually, it's the same skill over and over again. But yeah, that's it. At this point, you've gone through all of the content that I would recommend. You've taken the best from all of the free online resources and you've saved yourself thousands of dollars in your learning journey and probably time and effort as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. It means a lot. It helps the channel. Let me know in the comments if there's something else you want me to cover and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.